How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Quite a few things to talk about today. Update 6 is now here. It was released just yesterday. We have the full change log of all of the things fixed and all of the things added, including something quite interesting which was added to the game in yesterday's update, which wasn't in the change log and wasn't mentioned in the live streams. We're going to cover that. And along with that, we're going to talk about a huge issue or kind of bug that has happened because of the update, which has sort of broken quite a few leaderboards and stuff. We're going to cover that. Just a bit of a community update in general. We also have a little bit of an update on leaked cars as well. We all like leaked vehicles found in the files. If you enjoy this video, guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out loads. Let's get into it. So as you know, Update 6 released yesterday and everyone could update their game. There was actually quite an issue with people updating their games where it actually showed that the update was over 100 gigabytes in size, which obviously was quite an issue for some people as not everyone can install 100 gigabytes of an update very quickly. This turned out to be just a bug and it wasn't really an issue, but it was quite funny to see lots of people panicking over on Twitter about this. Speaking of Twitter, Forza Horizon themselves posted a little graphic showing some of the major new features and major game fixes within update 6. We can see them here. A few things here weren't mentioned within the live stream, such as the accolade that's been fixed and just numerous little things in general. We will get onto the full change log later on in this video. After I show you one of the new features which has been added in update 6 which I'm surprised wasn't mentioned. They've actually added a new upgrade to most cars in Horizon 5. If you jump on your game right now, jump in almost any car, go to upgrades, go to drivetrain and then go to transmission, you'll see that there is now a new transmission you can put in your car, a 4 speed drift transmission which is very interesting. I don't really need to explain what this is, it's a 4 speed transmission for drifting. I can imagine this might come in handy for drag tunes as well. Let me know in the comment section below what you think this drift comp transmission will be used for. You know, do you reckon people in the, the drag community will be able to use this as well? While this drift transmission is obviously really cool, we all like to see new upgrades being added to the game. It has actually caused quite an issue. You may see if you add the drift transmission to your car, it will decrease the PI number, you know, the little number down here, it will decrease it a little bit. However, there are two specific cars within the game that it really breaks. If you jump in the Razor, as seen on screen right now, fully upgrade it, it gets about 1,200 horsepower, I think. Go to the drift transmission and put it on. It decreases it from S2 class all the way down to A class. That is a huge decrease. And obviously because it's just a transmission, it doesn't actually decrease the speed of the car. It's still got 1,200 horsepower, still weighs nothing in A class. As you can imagine, this is a stupidly over overpowered glitched A-class car, it's absolutely dominated all of the leaderboards. As you can see, it does decrease the top speed to 50 miles an hour. However, if you go to the tuning, you can then change the, you know, the final drive and the gears and you get the full 200 plus mile an hour razor out of it. It's just stupidly overpowered. If you go to the leaderboards of almost any rival's A-class race, you'll see that other than the glitched and hacked times, quite a lot of the A-Class times are in Razors because people have just obviously abused this. You can't actually do it anymore. You can go and get the A-Class car. However, you can't use it in A-Class rivals. As you can see, they have restricted it, as you can see on screen, along with the Jaguar I-Pace. If you go and do that as well, the Jaguar I-Pace is also slightly glitched as well. It's not quite as overpowered as the Razor. However, it's still pretty bad. Now, I wouldn't usually like to mention something like this on a video because lots of you guys could go and you know abuse this exploit which I'm sure will be fixed rather soon but you can't use it in rivals anymore all you can do is just sort of drive around in a really stupidly quick A-class car maybe troll your friends with it a little bit I don't know just have a bit of fun with it just don't break any leaderboards we don't want to see that do we so that was quite an unexpected major issue which came out of update 6 which seems to have been fixed very quickly although they've not patched it completely just yet they have stopped us from using it in Rivals, but either way, the cool thing about it is there's a new drift transmission, which I'm sure will come in use in some places for some certain people. I'm going to show you every single individual thing added and fixed in Update 6. I'm going to roll them all through the screen right now. If you want to have a pause and have a watch. These are all of the general fixes. There's not many here, but one of the things that stands out is they have improved the dirty air aerodynamics. 
that I know a few people have had issues with. A few things have been fixed with on online and PC players. There's been quite a few different things tweaked with cars and vehicles, as you can see here, such as quiet superchargers, livery glitches, brake calipers disappearing, just what you can read on screen right now. Event Lab has obviously had the huge gravity feature added, and there's also been a few little miscellaneous things, as you can see on screen. This is everything they added. And then the accolades as well. These are the two accolades which have been tweaked. I do find it quite weird that they have not added the drift transmission edition anywhere on this screen or anywhere on the change log or anywhere that I can personally find. If you can find it, do let me know. Um, it just goes to show that maybe they weren't supposed to add this in this update and this has been accidentally added. I'm not entirely sure. It's very quite quite weird. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we've got something to update on the sort of the leaks side. As you know, on this channel, we always cover all of the leaks that have been found within the car files, all of the unreleased cars. And usually whenever we get a big update, things change within the files. And there's certain people which look at the files after every update to see if anything's been added or changed. Well, the most recent update files have been looked to and unfortunately nothing new was found. However, a few things have been deleted from the game files, such as the 2020 hour the RS3, the 2003 Ford SVT Lightning, and the 2018 Range Rover SVR. These are the three changes in the game files since the most recent update. They've been deleted. Whether that means they're suddenly not coming to the game anytime soon, or I don't know, it could mean anything, but that's the only change we can see leak-wise from the files from update 6. Three cars have been removed. Nevertheless, in general, this update has been a good one. Plenty of good things added. I'm sure people are quite happy that they've finally got the Horizon open thing and a few miscellaneous things as well. We are disappointed it wasn't the type of update we expected, with the name of it being Horizon Customs, but oh well, we can't be right all of the time. Stay tuned for more videos like this on the channel, guys. We obviously cover all of the community updates, everything just going on in the Horizon community. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.